it's Raven and welcome to my new video and today I want to do a cosplay of Avia Trotter but because my makeup videos are not really... you guys don't really like them so um, at least I don't have that many views as my other monster videos um, I will talk about just about my life and also paranormal experiences in this video wearing but let's start off with the look uh, as you can see she is a hybrid of a harpy and a horse, a centaur. And I literally don't own one single red clothing item. Literally not one single one. I have a blue um, shirt and I have a red skirt. So I'm trying to maybe put the skirt above. I have no idea. Um, well, okay. Um, I tried to put <laughs> my skirt over my shoulder. That hurts, um... Oh my god, baby, this is so hard to recreate, um... But I can't wear this for long because it hurts so much, so I'm gonna take it off for now. Ow! <laughs> okay, um... Ow! <laughs> I just stomped my foot against the tape. I hate this day. I'm just gonna take my contact lenses right now. It's always a really hard step. Come on, baby. Yeah, Avia Trotter has blue eyes, so I'm gonna put my blue contact lenses in. Oh, wow. Hey. hey. Who? 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 I have blue, I have eyes, blue now. eyes now. It is so fucking hot, guys. Oh my god. Okay, let's start with the foundation. She has a purple skin, of course. I hope that this is a good... I have no idea what this is called. This has literally no brand on it. Now, in the title, it says that I have had many scary encounters already in my life with the supernatural, with the paranormal. Um, first of all, I want to say I do not believe in ghosts, I do not believe in demons, because um, I had some really questionable um, experience and en encounters in my life so far with things that I can't really explain. Um, but I still do not believe in ghosts because something really, really, like, big must happen before I really, like, really believe in ghosts. So the first time something paranormal to me happened was in, I think it was second or third grade. It was, um, again, I live in Germany, I don't know how it is in America, but in Germany we, al we always have these trips with our class, like, class trips. You always spend one week in another city. And we also, in Germany, we have these places called Jugendherberge, which are like houses, like hotels, but just for um, classes, like school classes. And we would go there. And the first one I ever had was to a place called, I think it was called Dietz an der Lahn. I'm literally doing things right we weren't in this like Jugendherberge and this like hotel for a class things. We were in a fucking castle. Um, I had no friends back then, so I was in a room with these two girls who were obsessed with Final Destination at the time. Yes, third or second grade, they were like seven or eight years old. They were obsessed with Final Destination. And the night before, we had um, a little crafting session with our class, and we all were supposed to make a little. Um, image, a little picture, out of um, this like healthy material, whatever you wanted, and I made a sandwich. <laughs> I literally made a freaking sandwich, it was like so happy and cute. And you know what my um, roommates made? They made the fucking Grim Reaper. Keep in mind, I was seven years old. Hi. They made the fucking Grim Reaper. And now here comes the best part. We were in the castle, yeah. You know how castles normally look look like? It's like a castle and there were like these little um, Türme. Everyone was like down there in the cool rooms and only we three, because we all we were like the outcasts who nobody wanted to play with and have contact with, we were sent to like the biggest, the, the, the room that was the highest up, literally. And nobody was near. They were like, we would have to go like, five stories down to reach another person. <laughs> we were like in the last room ever. There were like, there was one bed here and one bed on top of it and another bed here and another bed on top of it. And here was a drawer. 
and here slept this one girl, here the other girl, and here was I, there was no one. But where I slept was like the window and also in the corner of the room was literally a hole. Like it was, it was a small hole, it was like, it was like this tall. But it was winter and it was still cold because of course air um, was passing through this hole, so it was a little bit cold, but anyway. I just have this vivid memory of this hole in my mind. It, suddenly, middle in the night, um, this one girl who also slept on top, um, her, I and her, we heard something. And then we were kind of scared, but we decided to go back to sleep. And when we woke up the next day, the other girl was gone. She was missing. We were like, okay, what the fuck? Where, where is she? And then we looked into the bathroom and she lie in the shower. And then we asked her, what the fuck are you doing in the shower? And she was like, I don't know how I got here. And we were like, okay, um, is it like a common thing of you? Like, do you all, all, always um, sleep, wander around like some people do that? And she was like, no, I never had this before, I don't know. And it was, I don't know. This was my first class trip ever. Not that scary yet, but it will become worse. So fast forward to a thing. Now it's also third or fourth grade. It was like one year after that. And it was to another place, also with the same class. I was in a room with the same girls again. This time with also another, like these two girls and also one other girl. She was also an outcast. And um, this time we were, um, what was it called, the place? Kochem an der Mosel, that was the place. And then in this place we actually weren't in a castle finally. We were in a real hotel like this Jugendherberge. And we were in a room. And our room was so big and so beautiful, but it had one gigantic window with gigantic curtains. And in the middle of the night we were telling like scary stories and spooky stuff. And then suddenly all of us looked to the window, like the curtains were in front of it, so we didn't see out, we couldn't see outside, but we all looked to the window. And we were like, like we didn't hear anything or see anything. We were just staring at this curtain. And suddenly, I don't know if it was me or this other girl, but we pulled the curtains open and suddenly all of us saw a big green face. Like it was like probably five feet long. And we were like, so fucking scared. I don't know, like this was the time in like 2000, must have been 2011 or something when like jump scares and paranormal activity were like the thing and everyone was scared of that uh, especially as a child it was probably like of course there wasn't like an actually green face i mean we all were just um children and our imagination um played with our heads i don't know but the thing is that we all really saw that same green face oh of course it wasn't a ghost or something but it's just crazy how life um, sometimes is so weird, I don't know. Anyway, that's it with my elementary school. Then fast forward to fifth grade. Now comes the scariest thing that has ever happened to me in my whole entire life. Um, so in fifth grade, every student... Now I was in a different school because in German you have one, especially at least in the schools that I know, uh, we have one to fourth grade in the same school and then fifth to high school graduation you have in the next school and in this school we have a so-called Kennlernfahrt like a um, class trip also again where you just get to know each other because you're like in a new class and you all are it was in 2012 it was in September 2012 I literally look like um, Tingy Wingy from Teletubbies now anyway we were in this place called Wegscheide and the thing about this thing was that it wasn't really a hotel for children, but it was like a really big area with many small houses. And I remember our house was called Birkenhaus at this house. It was pretty cool. And I was the one, again, nobody was <laughs> friends with me. Okay, I had some friends, but like, actually, okay, I had, I had one or two friends in there. And, um,. Thing is that I was telling scary stories to all the children and we were like I think maybe 12 girls so like 12 girls in one room and I am telling scary stories in the night <laughs> and they were all crying and then this one girl even wanted to go home because she was so scared of the stories I told and there was this big forest in this area like there was a fence around it but this 
forest was so fucking big. Like not, like the outside world could not go in there, but it was still a very fucking big forest. It was still a forest, okay? And so we could always go in there. Also at night. We were 10 years old, okay, at the time. And um, I decided at like 1 a.m. with my friends to go in there. Of course, we weren't supposed to go in there like at night, but we still did it. <laughs> so I took my few friends that I had with me. This one girl, she had a lamp on her head, like the lamps that you can like put on your head. And another girl and one other girl. And I wanted to go into the forest because the day prior to that, and I had this one special stick that I also like sharpened with a knife. So, um, and I also carved patterns into the stick. So I wanted to get this stick because it was like special to me. Like I put some work into the stick and I wanted to get it. So there was like this big entrance to the forest with literally a, it looked like in a fucking movie. Like we went through this, it was pitch black because have you ever been in the forest literally at night? It's so fucking scary. I mean, we knew that we were the only ones there because like, who the fuck goes to a kids like resort area at 1 a.m. into the forest. And um, we were walking in there, maybe like eight to 10 to nine feet. And then we all suddenly were like, oh my God, there is a ghost there. And then we ran away, but of course there was nothing because this is just what children and just people do. They're like, scare each other. But then we ran, we ran back and then I was of course like, okay guys, like I'm done with this shit. I just really want to get my fucking stick because I was kind of annoyed. And then I went there to get my stick. So these three other girls um, stood at the entrance. They didn't come with me. They were just standing there. And remember this one girl has this lamp around her head, so she lightened me the way. I walked towards this very, very big tree. And uh, like maybe, maybe 10 feet in front of this very big tree was a, was my stick, like it was lying there. So I was kneeling down to my stick and then I looked up, I was still on the ground. I looked to this big tree and I saw this white figure. It had a head and also a white coat. And I was like, fuck. I was just sitting there and staring. I couldn't move. And then I looked down. Remember, my friend had her lamp, so I was seeing the ground. It was autumn, as I said, it was September. And I saw the leaves and how the leaves were like moving because when you walk on something, of course, you can see it moving. And I saw how the leaves moved, but there were no feet and no legs. And I was just sitting there. I was staring at him and it was coming closer to me, but I couldn't move. I wasn't able to move. And to this day, it has been no eight years since that happened. And I still have this feeling inside of me. It's, I mean, I have told this story so many times since it happened, so I'm like, okay, maybe maybe I made some stuff up about um, um, the last few years or anything, and, and, I'm, I'm, and I'm always telling, because back then, of course, I believe that it was, it was a ghost. Nowadays, I think, like, maybe, like, oh my god, I was just a child back then, it was nothing. But then I remember this feeling, because maybe you, you can tell stories and you can talk shit about anything, but the feeling, like, you can't manipulate your feelings, really. And always when I'm telling the story, my head says, yeah, okay, that was fake, okay, that was nothing. But my heart tells me, the fuck it was not. <laughs> like, you saw a fucking ghost. Because I am not even kidding. Right after that, it, that sounds so fake, but besides it was really a cemetery. Uh, we also did this thing called Nachtwanderung, a, where literally the whole class wanders at night um, through the forest and um, yeah, that was the scariest thing that ever happened. And I, of course, I told this story as well of all of the girls. And I recently discovered... Now comes the scary part, guys. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Every time I'm talking about something scary, I'm about to cry. The thing is that my best friend right now, her brother is also in our school. And he's like, I think, three or four years younger. So, as I said, every class always that is in fifth grade always has to go to this place. And he told me that he knows the story as well. 
And I was like, how, did, how the fuck did you know about this story? I haven't, I have never talked to you. And he was like, that everyone in this place called Wegscheider, everyone knows this story about this white man. And I was like, the fuck? And he was like, hey, did, did, do you also know that story? I was like, I was the one who experienced this story and, and um, told everyone, like, I am the one who created this story. And he was like, what? Like, everyone talks about it. Everyone is still scared of this story. Everyone believes in, in, this, in this white man. And I was like, I am, I am sad. <laughs> no, but like, really, people, if, if, you, if you go to this place, and bring this story up, you, you, everyone knows about that. And I am literally the one who experienced it, like, what the fuck? Anyway, um, I am literally a legend. Anyway, they should have credited me, okay? They should have paid me at least for making the story. Anyway, contouring a little bit. So yeah, that was that. Um, pretty scary, haha. <laughs> I still didn't really get over this because or else I would not be telling you the story right now. Okay, so the one thing that creeps me a little bit out is that, um, I don't know if you know this, but my parents are divorced, and but I still see them. I live with my, my mom and my cat alone in a flat, and I see my dad sometimes. Actually, I haven't seen him in a long time now. When was the last time I saw my dad? Okay. Anyway, um, sometimes when we see each other and he's sometimes talking about me with his dreams he had and we literally have so many times we dream about the same thing like we're literally in the same dream my dad and i it is just so crazy how you have such a deep connection with your family even though you don't really see them often it's just crazy or also some or also last oh my god okay i have another paranormal thing the last time something really scary happened to me was on the, it was on the 10th, no, it was on the 13th of July, 2020, so literally just a few weeks ago, and I was at a party, and of, it was like an 18th birthday from my friend, and it was going pretty long, I think I stayed there till 1.30 a.m., and she lived in another city, so I cycled there with my bike, and... She was pretty far away and there was a forest between her and my city, so I had to cycle through that forest. I was like, okay, no big deal, I have a light on my bike. My bike is fucking old. It is, I got it in fifth grade, so it's like way too small, way too old. I was biking home and suddenly I came to the forest and I was like, oh great, fuck. Because literally, I, I, th I thought maybe, okay, maybe the moon or something will give a little bit of light. There was nothing. Literally nothing. All I saw was pitch black. Nothing else. I was in the middle of the forest. And I was like, oh my god, a creepy clown is gonna come out and fucking stab me or kill me with a machete. Of course, no fucking clowns appeared, no persons appeared. But the thing that is more scary when you are alone in the forest at night are the animals because that's what I didn't think about. Everyone is always like, oh my god, somebody's gonna come and kill you. That is not really um, what's gonna happen. The animals because of course I had a light on my bike. It was like giving me only a few inches of light. But then I saw eyes in the distance. I was like, fuck, because either it was either a deer or a um, riot pigs, I don't know. And it was so fucking scary. And I also always heard something in the bushes and it was a pretty scary experience. So guys, please do never uh, cycle alone through the forest at night. It is not worth it. I tried it. It's not cool. It is scary as fuck. Please don't do that. I'm giving you life lessons. Oh my god. What has this channel become? And yeah, I don't really have any creepy stories. I could tell to you right now, so I think I'm just gonna finish off my eyeshadow off camera because. So 
this is the finished look. Um, my wig is kind of not accurate, but um, I don't know. She has a ponytail as the doll and in the character, but I think that with long hair, it kind of looks more like her. And also this hat, um, I try my guess. best, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>